Good morning everybody, how are you all going? Alright, I've just been in and done a little video for you on my computer about the changeover switch. This is our day, we didn't get full yesterday. We're currently sitting at 63% on the main battery and 69% on the uh, little 10 kilowatt battery. We'll see how we go today. We won't need a generator by the way. Right now we got the hot water system is on. We haven't changed the way we live. And anyway, we got the hot water system on, 57. It'll turn off when it gets to 65. It's pretty cold outside. I think it's probably around 18, 19 degrees Celsius, something like that. Uh, so as you can see, the, we do have loads on the house. Okay, let me just open these up quickly for you. Okay, so we'll come in here real quick. And this is using 14 watts in self-consumption right now and the 8 kilowatt unit is using just over a thousand watts okay running the hot water system and the house the computers and everything are on so how does this switch work let me pin this up out the way how well does this switch work okay now you can see the little green light there Okay, that's the 5 kilowatt unit. The red light is the 8 kilowatt unit. Okay, so this is the 8 kilowatt unit here. I haven't got tags on here yet. But if we turn this off, ready? Okay, the house. This unit is now putting out 0 watts. This unit instantly took up the load of the house. Um, it did not mess with the computers. And you will see that simply by looking at the hot water system. Because anyone that has got one of these knows that every time the power goes out you have to reprogram the damn thing. Excellent hot water system but it doesn't have a little battery in it to keep the memory all right but as you can see it works all right so that's basically almost instant now when you switch it back it takes its time but This is just showing us how quick this changeover is. When you switch the grid back on, so for me the 8 kilowatt inverter comes on. We switch it on there. There it goes. And now this one has the loads. And this one's back in the standby mode, 14 watts. You can have a hybrid system on your house. Um, why uh, you grid to the bottom switch, okay? And put your, so your, your grid will be on this switch. And put your hybrid inverter on the first switch. And have that normally feeding your house. So most of the time you'll be running off grid. And if your batteries get low, then it'll switch to the grid and you'll have the grid as a backup. And that's what a lot of you have been saying. Oh, we'd still like to keep the grid as a backup, Chris, you know. Well, um, that's a legal way of doing it because this unit totally disconnects your grid from your house. Good day, everyone. How you going? All right, let's have a quick look at this unit, this automatic transfer switch, and I'll uh, show you... First of all, how I've got mine set up, uh, which would be the most common way 
probably to do it and that is with your grid coming in first all right so uh, you've got your grid this is your your common incoming line your main line coming into the unit so whatever you want on first you connect that here if you want the grid on first then you connect here okay and then we shift down to this these top two screws here all right which is your secondary incoming line or your backup incoming line so if you've got a small three kilowatt solar system uh, on a hybrid inverter you would connect it here so how would that work Chris well basically you've wasted all that energy to start off with okay because um, this will only come on if the grid goes down so all that solar that's in your panels once your batteries are full that's it it's, you're basically wasting it wiring it that way okay but that would be the most common way people would wire it okay now mine because I have two inverters and I'm just showing you how to do this how the chemist would do it because he hasn't got solar for instance so he would have to keep his batteries charged up and just switch so every time the power goes out he would switch down here run off the battery for up to three days then he would either have to recharge those batteries or hopefully the power's back on but each way either way he's got to manually spend money on grid power or whatever recharging those batteries it's not how i would do it but anyway okay so we have another um, way of doing it all right let me just get these circles out the way all right so we've got your main incoming line here i would put your inverter on this line okay so i would put your green energy inverter up here and i would put the grid which is your red energy here okay so what does that do Chris all right that means you're running off your hybrid inverter first so you're running off your inverter during the day your solar panels and most people have six and a half kilowatts of solar panels on their roof okay and that is enough for most people to go off grid however they don't want to go off grid because they want the grid as a backup why i don't know it's not a very reliable backup but anyway this is the most common thing i hear okay so you would put your green power okay your free power once you've paid for it on your on your common in incoming line so that's your inverter all right now if during the middle of the night um, your batteries run, run flat and it would automatically switch to the grid at the moment I'm, I've got my 8 kilowatt inverter here and my little 5 kilowatt inverter down at the bottom here uh, and that's that's good for me because if anything happens to my 8 kilowatt inverter it switches to the 5 kilowatt inverter if I'm here or not anything at all happens all right but for you this means if you've got a, a grid tie and, and, and you don't want to feed power to the grid they're not paying you your 42 cents anymore they're only giving you two cents a kilowatt plus a, a bill uh, for doing the paperwork to work out that two cents a kilowatt um, so you're actually paying more than what you're getting you're going to say well stuff it okay so but don't don't throw the baby out with a, with a bath water okay just switch to a hybrid inverter okay put your inverter on the incoming line with your batteries and put the grid down onto this spare incoming line so it is now you will be running off your batteries off off your solar and off your batteries through your inverter and if you don't get enough sunshine during winter for a few days it will just simply switch back to the grid and you will have the grid as a backup generator